Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. <laughs> I'm pleased to show you this weapon that I'll be running today at the Wizards Tournament. It may very well be the best deck ever created. Are you ready to rumble? It's Don G here. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> We're in contrast. <laughs> you shut up. All right, this fucking wig is all fucked up. All right, so guys, welcome back. Uh, I want to present to you the finest professional Alpha Forty player in the world, <laughs> Stephen Menendian. Everybody, <laughs> second <laughs> annual. Dun, 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 dun. Thank you. And the, the second, the second best player in the world, Brian Weissman. All right, guys. So. If you saw the first video with my cohort, Daniel Chang, Menendian here is gonna share with you his Alpha 40, what the heck is it called? Blue Vibes. You sure you don't wanna be called the- AKA the million dollar solution hmm? to the Alpha Card 40 method. AKA the, the Rao Point. <laughs> okay. All right guys, so let's go to it, let's go. <laughs> Talk about it. So, this deck is beautiful, powerful, and elegant. And it's simplicity and, and in its overwhelming power. The centerpiece of this deck, <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> what are you doing? Calm down, all right. That hat is, fits you well because you're trolling me. Um, so <laughs> I look like a troll, don't I? Do. <laughs> <laughs> so, the centerpiece of this deck is a little known card called Ancestral Recall. If you pan over the deck, which you should do now, it's absolutely beautiful. You'll notice that it has four alpha. Black Lotus, the card, the mythic rare of the game, the best, the one, the only, Alpha Black Lotus. Wait, hold on a second, it's Alpha 40, stop saying Alpha. Look. That's pretentious, it's, <laughs> it's just elitist, oh, calm yes. down. <laughs> Look, then you've got a bunch of sapphires, you have Ancestral Recall, Timeline. Wait, how many sapphires, everybody? Well, right now, okay, this is tricky. right now we have nine, hmm. but we're considering a tenth. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, this uh, deck is basically four cards when you boil it down. It actually has only uh, seven unique cards in it in, in its entirety, but it's basically four cards. It's Ancestral Recall, Black Vise, Sapphire, and Black Lotus. The, um, the core of the deck, though, are these, what is this, 11 Ancestral Recall? It's 12. 12? <laughs> Guys, okay. So over a quarter of the deck is ancestral. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Don, Don Ching here. Look, the, ori the original build, the original build is in my old school magic video. I, I, it was very pathetic. I only had, shut up. It was so pathetic. I, I only had eight ancestrals. I was losing. I lost. I lost no games, but I decided. <laughs> I lost no games and I decided I decided to I decided to make a even more I, I made sure that all the This is the dumbest thing ever. Wait, well, what was the original percentage with the eight eight my original build? Wait, hold on, right, right. You are the professor, okay? In your opinion, no, in your bullshit opinion, your real opinion, oh, it's certainly bullshit. bullshit opinion, my version 1.0, remember the original, with eight ancestrals, yeah. and three lands, <laughs> and seven black vice, and six <coughs> sapphires, what was my win percentage probability? Over 95% okay. is what I would do. Turn one. one. Turn one. Okay. First it, turn kill. And what is it now <coughs> from version 2.0? We think it's basically 99.99%. Maybe yeah. maybe a little oh, lower. 9999. We, we lack the intelligence or the algorithms to calculate it proper, or properly. We definitely lack the intelligence. <laughs> 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 Who the hell does this dumb shit? But I would estimate, yeah, that this deck would probably fail to win on turn one, one out of a thousand times. The only way it fails to win on turn one, basically, in this configuration, is if one or two things occur. You draw all mana and no spells. Or you draw all spells and no mana. Right. Or third, you draw a configuration of spells that's basically this quadrant of the deck. Yes, yeah, some mana and some vices. And only like two of these. Yeah. So that's basically it. So the question we are trying to debate right now is if we add a mock sapphire, what do we cut? Yeah, obviously. They're arguing black vibes. I, of course. I agree. Absolutely 100%. 100%. 100%. I agree with that too. But in your testing, since I haven't goldfished this yet, 
How, how, like, do you get all three vices in play and you kill them with ancestrals? That's basically the plan, right? It's effortless. It, okay. Literally, if you resolve one ancestor recall, <laughs> you, you decrease the variance of the chance of failure from its tiny swing one in a thousand chance to probably one in a hundred thousand. In my test, more of the deck you're drawing. Yeah. In my testing, in my underwear, I basically <laughs> realized, no, honestly, you're right. Brian's right. Pan this behind us. A I mean. Behind you? Yeah, originally, I had originally. No, it's it's glare. Oh. Originally, the black vice. I had a total of eight. Can actually, you shut the curtains. So no, no, can... it's fine. Yeah. I had eight. Okay, I had eight uh, black vices. Now it's down to three. Uh, I totally agree mm -hmm. with this because we just kept adding more ancestral recalls. There was a point where one time I drew four black vices, and it was absolutely. Like I, 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 I had an ancestral recall to get to more mana to to cast them, so I think Brian's assessment is correct. So okay. I think more mana is good, and also it reduces the chance of drawing well, more mana. Well, one of the questions that you could consider, for example, is whether the sapphire is better than whether the fourth black vice is better than the fourth time twister. Ooh, cricky. Yeah, because what you don't want is a hand that has three time twisters and two two of these. Yeah, but what else do you draw? Well, I suppose if you if draw you get that, any two if, of these and this, because and by process of elimination, then the rest of your hand has to be some of this, this or this, which gets you into two. all that anyway. Which yeah. is why the deck's chances of winning are basically one hundred percent. Okay. Because there, it, there are so few permutations of hands that are complete failures. Yeah. Almost none. Right. <coughs> that I mean, you you can draw all of the garbage, a single sapphire, and you just need one of this one in twelve hit, and you're off to the races anyway. I because think... after you cast one of these. You've already drawn all this junk. There's nothing left to draw but more ancestrals. Junk? <laughs> what, what, was, what, what, what was the junk? Oh, I was thinking that, comparatively speaking, Black Vice, uh, Time Walk, and Time Twister are all junk. Let me ask you something. That's when true. you win the, the whole game... Deck, if the deck were just this, right? How many of better. these do you need to play to win the game? One. One! Because, because your ancestral... Why you not, ancestral, why you not ancestral. play two, like a Tendrils deck does? Uh, I think it's because we, we lack... Additional... Prior, prior, yeah, other than mana. I, I think three is probably right now. And also in the interest of time. Yes. How much ancestral? So originally it was 14 mana sources. How many do we have now? You have to ancestral your opponent. It looks like 14 still. You have to ancestral your opponent, though. It, on turn Brian, assume you're on 15. The it's 10 now, yeah, Sapphires. 15. Assume oh, you're 10 on, Sapphires. We added 10. Assume you're on the draw, and your opponent is able to play, say, hmm. two spells. They have a five-card hand. Yeah. And you but take you, the first turn. You're twisting. Right. But how many times do you have... How many ancestrals do you have to play on your opponent? You just draw the whole deck, you play whatever number of vices, and then you ancestral them in. I just want a clear answer, though. So, you, so to do 20 damage, and they have 7 cards, you need to get them to 10, 13. Uh, you have to get them over... You basically have to play... God, 10 ancestrals? No, that's not, not right. Not even close. No. Oh, you're saying with a single vice? Yes, with a single vice. Well, a single vice needs a hand oh. size of 24 to kill them. There we go. That's what I'm thinking. But but that that's honestly trivial but you're churning the deck once you start churning nothing stops you 17 because all of all of the variances so seven, all of the seven. variances rolled into the first hand remember when i was taking test draws with this not only was i killing on turn one every single time effortlessly but i was also doing with five or six time walks stacked up which is like an extra yes. six or seven cards that you've already drawn and infinity man so as well. let's do a let's do a test run okay okay yeah. mr ching let's do it let me get out of the way Mr. Ching. Mr. Ching. Don Ching. This was an this was an insane draw by this deck. By the way, this is turn one. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, Brian, Brian Weissman is playing. Uh, I'm what playing is a fair alpha? What is the deck. name called of your deck? I haven't even come up with the name. Oh, uh, well, okay. to be announced. We'll put it in the video later on. Band library. Oh, oh, oh. Band library. That's what it's called. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Okay. So, no, no, but it's kind of like the deck, though. Yeah, I should, I, it is honestly it's quite similar. Why do you call it Alpha 40? It yeah. May, it may honestly be the closest thing to the well, deck. Remember, the first version of the deck was mono right. black. The very first, well, it wasn't mono black, but it, you it had, was like, a four mind twist deck. You had, uh, with, no, I'm talking about those. the pre deck. You Sorry, had, shuffle. You had um, like seven or eight demonic tutors in your pile with your friend. But that was, that was not actually called Proto. The, it was not yeah. called the deck. All right, guys, so I will, Brian construction. I will put Brian's video. We're all doing Alpha 40 deck text today. Brian's video was recorded earlier. He'll be first. It's actually slightly different now. Uh, we've made yeah, so different. what did we change? Well, we can just play a game here. Yeah, just play. What was Brian's video? What, what was different? Sure. Just by default. What was the uh, difference in your deck now we added from the previous? Um, you found a second Wheel of Fortune. <clears throat> so I added another Wheel of Fortune. And, and you ditched what card? And I ditched, um, I believe, an icing. No, I ditched, I ditched one of the four Jam Day Towns. And then and, um, everything else is the same. And I ditched an icing Manipulator for another Badlands. Got it. And why did you do that? Um, when I was taking test draws, I was hitting a lot of hands that had a handful of four drops, 
Hmm. And only drawing two to three mana sources, which is death. So I wanted to increase the mana count. I think I may actually still add another mox or two. So in your gold fishing so far, mm -hmm. what do you? Uh, what did you find now? Is it more efficient with the new deck? With this version? Yeah, the two point two, the three point zero version. Oh yeah, it feels way more degenerate and streamlined. It's not yeah. just play some mana and play juggernauts mm -hmm. and hope that they win the game for you. It's now do totally gross things and ignore the opponent, which is kind of how combat decks are supposed to work. Got it. All right. Well, this is the blue vise deck tech. I will put in the comment or the link below, on the co on the <laughs> description. They're gonna do some kind of goal. So Brian has to go first for for of the course. yeah, just to, just to see if he can. Now I will be guaranteed of taking at least one turn. <laughs> and by the way, Stephen, you're gonna have to shuffle really good because you had that all clumped up. You think I'm doing? I already pile shuffled. No, you're shuffling well. I'm just yeah, saying I that. Pile shuffled. Yeah, yeah. Thoroughly. Thoroughly. Yeah. Because yeah, right now. Right, it, I, this is about my tenth pile. Of okay. Time. Hey. Yeah, hey. Pile shuffle. Okay. <laughs> no, I've I yeah. Uh, it's not clumped. Trust me. <laughs> all right. Good luck, sir. You too. Thank you. You guys were also saying something interesting. Uh, one way they could change the format is what? Uh, is cyborging. Yeah, cyborg. Yes, <laughs> cackling. That's the evil cackle. <laughs> oh, this is a dick. So you got that evil cackle on camera? Oh, oh. Wait, wait, wait. wait hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hey, laugh again, Steve. Oh, oh. Wait, hold on. Laugh again. Hold on. Put the cards out. Laugh again. This, this is a hand. Go ahead. Go ahead. Laugh again. That was natural. I didn't make it up. I'm not going to. Well, the audience will be able to. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to see your, I want to see your deck. The, uh, no, it's okay. okay. Oh, you want to see yeah, my yeah, hand? Look at this. We're going to do this. Wait, 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 wait. Right, I'm gonna, Did you draw for the turn? Oh, that's right. It could be even better. Oh, oh my okay. God. This is a slow reveal. This is a hand. Holy. Mother of fucking this God. Hand, this hand is 99 You could off. lose. Potentially. Uh, Go for it. That would be ironic if the very first game on camera... Go for it. <sighs> this, is... this card needs to be something very critical. Are you ready? I've been, I've been the top deck machine so far with this format. Wait for it. Ooh, that's even better. Is it? Yep. Okay. Ready? Jet. A land drop. Steve, stay here. Yeah, Soaring. <clears throat> sure. One mana float. Sure. Soaring number two. Sure. Count the mana right, guys. No no turn. A black lotus. Sure. That's what your best card. <laughs> it is the best card. Sure. Red. Two. One mana float Wheel. still. You got it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Yeah, baby. Well, the wheel. Uh, was that better than Mind Twist? No. <clears throat> no, Mind Twist would have been incredible because it would have been three... I have one mana floating, four, five, six, Daniel, seven, eight. It would have been. Drew. And look at what, what I insisted we add. Yep. That would have been mind twist for Wow, you, yeah. Brian, Brian, I, Brian, you don't understand. His, not, okay, his initial, you would have lost, obviously. Okay? That was the initial hand. Yeah. But look at this what hand. I insisted. Hey, you just put it down. You no, might, wait, 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 Oh, it is? Oh, <laughs> fuck I mean, you. I'm down to see it. <laughs> That would have been mind twist for seven on turn one. <laughs> wow, with that draw. You got a wheel you again. Would have won. Wheel again would have happened. You would have won. Yeah. I still have one mana flow. Oh, it would just been ancestral and set. Oh, I uh, see. This is what I would have drawn. These cards off the top if he'd mind twisted me. All right. Wow. So one mana floating. That was Three, it. Six. <gasps> no. For five. This no is way. Holy, hold on. This is a. Fucking historical moment. Uh, hold on. You have to hit one card. Oh my god. Oh, Brian. This is a great game to have on. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, do we, 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 Brian, game? Brian, do we stage this? We did not. No, okay. Stage don't, it. don't. We're not fucking around. You can choose the two off. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Okay. We don't have a die, so I'm gonna pick the old-fashioned way. Nobody rolled dice. These are the two I'm keeping. Cards. These are the two you'll keep. Those five. They okay, roll slowly. Ancestral recall. That's ancestral recall. Ancestral recall. Black Vise and... Mana. Ooh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> uh, and I'm done after that. Wow. Okay. Oh my Talk. god. Wait, hold on. Wow, this is so well, this unbelievable. This is fucking... No, dude. This might be one of the greatest games of Magic ever. If you just draw on. mana, though. Oh, oh. Okay. okay. Just draw mana, you're fucked. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh there no. it is! <laughs> it's not over yet. No, no, it's not over yet. It's not. It's not over. Holy shit! Double sapphire. You actually can't win first turn. I'm it's all coming though. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, my twist for five would normally put a damper oh on the turn. Oh my god! Oh my god! Come on! 
Holy, guys, guys, you understand. I, it's, this deck has never lost. Oh my God, guys. I need wait, a wait, threat. Wait, wait, let me see. Well, that's good. <laughs> it is somewhat good. The problem is, is that he top decks a little better than I do. Just, just. All right, just, how many ancestrals have you lost so far? Yeah, let's count that. Quite let's, a few. Okay, guys, I might have to cut One, the video two, and do another three, video. Four. This is fucking bullshit. Five, six. Daniel's breathing Half heavy. Half of them. Daniel's breathing really heavy. Let's know. <laughs> I've never seen this deck lose. Jam it down. Yes. I actually have to think now. Yeah. Mind twist. This you have to game, mind twist. This Alpha card 40 has some interesting decisions. Yeah. Uh, for those of you guys, okay. for those of you Whether thought, I two chaos orbs or draw a card. Wait, interesting decision. For, 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 for those of you guys who thought that Brian would just, uh, or, or, or no, no, yeah. sorry, die, and Steven would just win, you're absolutely wrong. Well, again, I went first. He let me play first where you get to draw an extra card, and I drew basically the nuts hand. I drew a ton of mana, wheel, wheel and, and lotus, lotus and mind twist, twist and a bunch of sorens. Holy mother of God. Okay, I Honest. am going to draw a card. This is where you have to make some decisions. Yep, I'm going to draw here. There's a tiny window here. Oh. All right, if you top decks land for a few turns. Go ahead, Steven. Okay. Brian, no, Bri Bri no, no, if you do land, you're fucked. Oh. Oh my God. Oh, Brian. Ancestral. Brian, I'm about to get turned on now. Hold on. Oh, I take one. Yep. Hold on. on, hold on, hold on. I have to actually cut this video. Hold on, I'm going to cut this video. Guys. The reason why I cut this video is we're running at 17 minutes, and I have to fucking hold on, hold on. I have to come back. Okay, hold on a second. All right, All right guys, hold on a second, real you have quick. To fucking what? Okay. God. Want to watch the end of the video? I'll do a second. I have to do a second video. Uh, thanks for watching. This is insane because if Brian wins, this will be the first time I've ever seen anybody beat the Blue Vise for one game. For one game. <laughs> Only one game. Wait, All right. See, see you guys later. See you guys next game.